grocery store and uh, do a little review for the bike. I'm not gonna go crazy, like super high depth and detail. I'm gonna go like go through the whole, uh, you know, little cluster here in the middle. Like I'm not doing all that. If that's what you're looking for, then you know I'm just gonna go over the basics. What it feels like to own the bike for the past two years. You know, I, I've driven it from you know short trips to. Me and a friend rode all the way to Florida. It was like 900 miles one way and back. Uh, you know, so I've got a pretty good experience when it comes to owning this thing. You know, I know a lot of guys, you know, they'll put 200 miles on their bike and never ride it again. Not me. I still don't get to ride it that much, but... Cause I don't, you know, I don't use it to go to work or nothing because I have a work truck, but I definitely know what it's like to own one of these things, that's for sure. All right. We're here at the, uh, the Redner's. And my friend uh, did a donut in his Mustang over here before. Yep, there it is. That's pretty cool, man. I don't know if that's the same marks or somebody else out here acting crazy. There's some more marks. Yeah, who knows? But park it over here and take a look see. Click. Wow, it's busy over here today on a Sunday. Well, here it is, guys. Road Glide Special. It's the 114. Obviously, we have a lot done to it. You know, I think I've put over 10 grand in this thing, parts and labor. Um, the standard Road Glide Special. It would have like the cutouts here for the bags. I have the uh, standard bags because I went to the 2 in 1 exhaust. Got the air intake, carbon fiber fender, T bars. There's a lot done to it. Um, so it's not, you know, what you would expect if you had just bought one. But from owning the bike for two years it's like by far one of my most favorite bikes i've ever bought man i i always was kind of scared of that bagger price tag but uh yeah this thing doesn't disappoint man if, if you like riding bikes and you ride a lot the price tag shouldn't scare you that much you know i mean people buy one hundred thousand dollar corvettes and they want to, you know, complain about the price of these. I mean, it's all in what you like, I guess. But owning it for two years uh, has been nothing but great for me. It's got the 114. I think I might have mentioned that already. Um, this motor is great for upgrading, from what I understand. You know, if you go from, you know, you, it's easy to go from a 114 to a 131 super easy um i did the sns 475 cams uh so you know there goes my warranty but i don't really care too much about that because from my experience with warranty stuff they're not going to want to <laughs> they're not going to want to help you do anything anyway got the clockworks fairing you know these are the factory uh crash bars these aren't i added those on um it, the only thing i didn't like about this is obviously this is all aftermarket and, and dirty but it came with like peg passenger pegs i wish it came with floorboards on both sides i think that would have been a lot cooler but you know i don't keep anything stock i, I just i love spending money uh, if you're into the performance bagger kind of thing, which is what I'm into, um, fantastic bike 
fantastic bike for that, man. It, it's, I mean, obviously you gotta have the bankroll for it, but I I love it, man. The M8 is no complaints. The the cams, they were incredibly different, man. It changed the whole bike. It changed how it idles and everything. And I'll start it up for you in a little bit. Uh, it's not going to be a cold start, but the bike's still pretty loud. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I rode to Florida, I had nothing but these. This T-bar setup. I didn't have the gauge relocation or anything like that. Um, I don't even think I had this Saddleman, which I'm not sure if that Saddleman would have been good or bad for the Florida trip. But 900 miles, man. I know it might sound like a little thing, and you know, someone will be like, "Oh, what's the big deal?" But having cruise control for big trips, if that's what you're into, I made an unbelievable difference, man. Why is that lady being weird? Maybe I'm being weird. I'm the one out here talking to myself, I guess. Maybe she's calling the cops. I think there was a guy out here who's losing his mind. But my friend was ripping on his Dyna all the way to Florida, which is, I mean, bragging rights, he's got them, you know. But uh, having cruise control made a world of difference, man. Literally riding down the road with my hands in my lap. And, uh... Yeah, it's that little touch, man. Having Bluetooth and everything's a big deal to me because I like, even though I got the performance style, I do like listening to uh, Bluetooth and all that. So, it's a great bike, man. If you're looking for a Road Glide, you don't really need the special. I just wanted all the black accents. You know, the chrome motor and stuff looks cool too, but you don't need the one if you're, you know, oh man. I don't know if I can afford the big 114 bike. You don't really need it. Uh, if you ever wanted to upgrade the power later, it's super easy. And you could save a lot of money on payments and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm spoiled. So, I wanted the black on black. You know, I wanted it to look insane. And here we are. I still got some plans for it. But, I mean, I don't really know what else to go over. I mean, other than... I've done short trips, and people will tell you, this is a good point, I guess. People will tell you, oh, if you're going to go ride around town, you don't need a bagger. You you know, you could just get a Sportster or a, a standard Lowrider S. You know, I, I'll tell you this, man. If you want a bagger and you're not planning on doing any big trips, but you just like baggers, get one. I can throw this thing all around. I, I think it's exaggerated. Like, this thing... This is the most dialed-in bike I've ever ridden. You know, I've ridden a few Harleys, sport bikes. Like, this thing is just... It's so well-balanced. And uh, I have no complaints with it, man. It, like I said, if you're worried about... Dri oh, I only drive in the city or, you know, I only drive around town or whatever. And, like, if you want a bagger, man, get one. You're not going to have any issues if you know how to ride. Like... That's, you know, don't be afraid to uh, go all out, man. Because I always wanted a bagger. And uh, I regret nothing, man. This bike has been nothing but great to me. <sighs> yeah, uh, I guess it's not really like a breakdown of the bike that I'm doing. It's more so, you know, what I experienced owning it. You know, if you're on the fence of like, oh, should I get one of these things? You know, I'm the guy that's going to tell you to do it and make poor decisions you know poor financial decisions because you're gonna love riding the thing thing is amazing it's got uh i don't know what this does if anyone knows what that does tell me uh you know comment like subscribe if you like the video you know whatever the youtubers say but yeah we'll start it up for you um if you haven't seen the other videos uh, it's not going to be a cold start, like I said. Um, Bassani 2 in 1, mid range exhaust, um, 475 cams, intake. That's it. That is it. Nothing else. No, no craziness. Uh, that'd be cool to get like a turbo one day. <laughs> that I would like. But yeah. I guess it would make sense if I go over here, huh? 
That way you can hear her thump. But yeah, you turn it on with this here. And here's your gas tank. Gas tank uh, lid. <laughs> so, got the radio all right here. I don't use it. I go to here and I connect my Samsung. My out-of-date phone. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to just have like the radio sitting there showing, you can do this. And you can see your digital speedo. That's really nice. I like digital speedos. And you can go... You know, you can do all this here, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go all into that crazy shit, but right here, you got your neutral light and everything. That's my tire pressure. It's telling me it's constantly screaming at me, but I just refuse to make it perfect, I guess. It's got to be a certain number, or I'm just going to get a thing. But you will see, I don't know if you can see it in there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's, uh, it actually tells you what gear you're in. I can't really see that because of the way, you know, I have my gauge relocation set up. But when I put these T-bars on at first, there was an adapter here that pulled them forward. You cannot see, unless you look like over to the side, you cannot see uh, sometimes certain speeds you can't see unless you're going like 60. And you can't see what gear you're in. I, I mean, that doesn't really matter to me. But to some people, that might be a big deal. Keep that in mind if you ever get T-bars. Uh, aftermarket grips, but this is all this is all factory. Speakers are factory. You know, no crazy sound or anything like that. Starter up for you. Very good thump very muscle car that's why I like the 475 very nice but yeah if I had to stretch bags if I had to stretch bags it would be covering this exhaust so you keep that in mind if you ever want to change your exhaust because uh yeah, the stretch bags might affect it. I don't really know if it would have. I took them off because I didn't even want to risk it. Um, the exhaust doesn't normally look this bad. It can be polished. I just, this thing, I ride it, man. I ride it. She's dirty. I know it probably looks nice in the video, but it is dirty. But, uh, yeah, see that? See that little movement there? I like that, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah, man, if you want to get a road glide, you want to get a special, you know, whatever you want to do, man, do it. You won't regret it. I love these bikes, man. I I thought I would regret the payment, but I can't get enough of this thing. And I think they're like, I think they're like 800 pounds, so keep that in mind. You know, I don't know how, you know, a pretty average height. I can flat foot it. And no problems. My knees are a little bit bent, so... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not super tall. I know a lot of guys that ride these are like, you know, over six feet, but I have no issues riding this thing at all. Yeah, man, like, she purrs, man, she purrs. Ooh. Go over that nice little speed bump. You're thinking about getting cams <laughs> do it man do it it's probably my favorite mod performance wise anyway there's a lot of great mods i did like these t-bars great quality of life i think they're like nine and a half inch risers plus you got these little extension thingies i don't really know what those are called but yeah it's looking a little gloomy <laughs> got me nervous said it wasn't supposed to rain today but you know my luck it'll probably start downpouring any minute that'd be a great video huh 
getting downpoured on my motorcycle yeah that's happened to me before look the, the funny thing was all the water was just going down the tank and uh i guess because i was like kind of slunched over like my shirt and like it was just like my shoulders and my head that got wet my back but like my chest and my stomach area didn't really get wet but all the water funneled from the tank down to my crotch and it looked like i pissed myself yeah good stuff and i was going to work that day yeah, this bike's loud man keep that in mind when you do cams you think an exhaust makes your bike sound better but cams are cams are what really does it man it'll change everything the feel the power everything this is my favorite part about this bike just sitting on a light i feel so badass right now you get a lot of looks on this bike too man it's because i got good taste you know i got that style a lot of people around here run like a pangers and like a slip-on exhaust <laughs> But uh, not me. I got more of that West Coast performance bagger style, I guess. But yeah, man. If you want a bagger, get one. If it's expensive, but you ride all the time. Think about it. If you ride all the time and that's your hobby, it's really not that expensive, man. Because for one, if you're riding all the time, you're getting the full use of the bike, you know. Hold up. Twenty man, as she was, she was gonna keep going. Oh my God, I love it. But one thing I can say, if you get a 475 cam or any type of performance mod, be careful, man, because uh, I know people like to say, "Oh, Harleys are slow," but this bike will pull, man. Will pull. I've had sport bikes before. Trust me this bike will pull and you can get in trouble and you can get hurt too I guess but I don't really think about that kind of shit <laughs> look at these open fields wow the orange trees wow look at that guys wow but yeah I mean there's not really much else to say I mean I, you know, if you want one, get one. You know, if you want any bike, man, just just do it, dude. It's so freeing, man. I can be having the worst day or the worst week, you know, whatever it is, and I get on a bike and just go somewhere. I can literally just go to the gas station and I feel better. I'm like a whole different person when I get on these things. My confidence goes up, everything. It, it just makes me feel like a better person and you know maybe i'm crazy for that i don't i don't know but i mean if you ride you know how it is but yeah man don't don't be afraid to get one if you're thinking about it dude go for it man obviously for me that's for me saying that where i live you know winter's around the corner so it's a little you know i, I wouldn't say buy a thirty thousand dollar bike and then you know let it sit in the garage all winter you know hey, that might not be a great idea but if you can ride all year long or or if you're just a badass and you ride in the winter too hey you know it's pretty chilly right now and i'm still riding so but yeah if you guys like the video you know you like the review again like i said uh oh puppy dog puppy dog if you like the if you like the video like the bike you know what's this guy doing i think he's rapping it's kind of badass but yeah if you like the video like comment subscribe it helps me i see it i watch my little youtube data so yeah i hope you like the video guys have a good one